let's get this out of the way before something gets damaged that we don't need damaged because this clearly is going to need a bit more bashing to get out. Okay, I'm having difficulty getting this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to put a bar through here and smack it. See if we can smack it out by hitting that impeller. We know that this is all damaged and we're not going to reuse any of that anyway. So time for some brute force. And I'm back. Okay, it took a bit more bashing. It took a bit more bashing than I would have expected, frankly. But this part looks great. You know, there's no real damage here. I'm just checking in here. There isn't any scoring. That seems okay. If it's scored, you see, we're gonna have problems because when we, if we fit a new cartridge, then it means the performance will be impaired. So this is the exhaust side. So it's sort of made of steel or iron or whatever it is, something heavy. And the intake side is nice and lightweight and aluminium and Again, just checking for scoring. I think it's fine. I mean, whatever's gone on has been very light. Because, of course, they must be making these impellers out of something very soft to ensure that the impeller is kind of the uh, part once it gets sucked into your engine because of damage, it's not going to break your engine. So we have a little bit of damage here on the exhaust side and that's because I put in a big chisel and smacked it out via there. So you see these, this damage on these, these teeth are because of that. But as I rotate them, you know, actually they're not bad. The exhaust thing seems to have a much bigger tolerance, right? Because it's, it's certainly not been clipping as much as when you, the intake, the intake side looks really uh, gnarled up. It's certainly uh, it's come to a fair bit of bashing there. So that's the cartridge. So the exhaust gases are coming out, spinning this round, spinning this round, which is making more suction, more suction, more power, engine goes faster, more torque. Next steps for me, I'm going to get a new one of these and I'm going to reuse these other two sides, rebuild my turbo and hopefully get my turbo back on the road. As ever, thanks for watching.